Transport Minister Lui Tuck Yu has cautioned against any attempts to circumvent the Certificate of Entitlement system, saying that safeguards are in place after the recently announced changes. He says authorities will rigorously check vehicles to see if their engine power has been tuned down to illegally register higher horsepower rides under the category meant for mass market cars. Mr Lui was speaking on the sidelines of a Transport Ministry event. It's not so easy to meddle with engine power to beat rules, says Transport Minister Louis Takiu. He sought to assuage fears of abuse to Certificate of Entitlement or COE system tweaks, which from February 2014 will only allow cars with less than 130 brake horsepower to be registered under Category A. We decided that we would give five months early warning before we implement the changes in 2014. To give a much shorter lead time, could cause different issues and different problems, even greater volatility. Singapore's Land Transport Authority will act as gatekeeper and laboratory testing will determine actual engine power of models brought into the country. This process could take a few weeks or many months. Mr Louis also said there will be price fluctuations before and after any changes to a COE system, with a few bidding rounds needed before equilibrium is reached. He advised car buyers to watch the fluctuations before deciding if they should get a car. The disposable income of Singaporeans are going up, and so, you know, they would want to buy a vehicle or spend it in uh, meaningful ways, all right? So when you have this situation and also one where the supply is constrained, I think it is inevitable that uh, COE prices will go up. The point of the latest changes, Mr Louis said, was to ensure mass market rides under Category A don't get displaced by higher end but lower powered models. Mr Louis said optimally what needs to be done is for the car population to be controlled and a lot more resources put into improving public transport so that it's more inclusive to meet people's needs.